Officer of Officer Training Command Newport. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for Officer Candidate School Class 09 Tag 24. I am Lieutenant Carrillo, the Assistant Class Officer for Class 09 Tag 24. Over the past 13 weeks, the class team has been responsible for morally, mentally, and physically developing today's graduates to serve as professional naval officers worthy of special trust and confidence. The 09 Tag 24 class team includes Lead Class Officer, Lieutenant Maddox, Recruit Division Commander, Chief Petty Officer Cruz, Class Drill Instructor, Country Sergeant Martinez Bravo, and not able to attend, Staff Sergeant Renteria, and Chief Petty Officer Sands. Guests are encouraged to take photographs from the seating area at any time during the ceremony, except during the playing of the National Anthem. The order of events for today's ceremony are as follows. At 1000, Captain Everett Alcorn, United States Navy, Commanding Officer, Officer Training Command Newport, and Rear Admiral Stewart C. Satterwhite, Commander, My Navy Career Center, will arrive. The guests in the class will rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the playing of the National Anthem and the invocation. The commanding officer and the guest of honor will then address the graduating class that administer the Oval Office. The graduates will be recognized through the presentation of their commission by the guest of honor. The guests will rise for the playing the service songs and the final dismissal. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of the official party and remain sent for the national anthem and the invitation. <laughs> Officer Train Command, Newport, arriving. Career Center arriving. Gentlemen, now the national anthem. Gentlemen, Chaplain Paulson will now offer the invocation. Let us pray. 
Eternal Father, strong to save. You have called us out upon the waves, united as one body in service to you and to our country. We are warriors of the seas and protectors of the American way of life. May we never forget we are called to lead and to serve. We thank you for our friends and families that have supported us through this journey. Much will be demanded of them in the future. So Lord, bless them now with faith, hope, and love. Protect us as we travel home to a new duty station or school. Go before us so that we may do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with you. We pray this in all your eternal names. Amen. Joy boys, ready, fix, forward, march. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ready, seat! Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Everett Alcorn, commanding officer, officer training command, Newport. OCS class 09 TAP 24. Good morning. Good morning, sir! I'm excited to welcome 113 of our newest graduates into one of the most challenging and fulfilling careers, that of a naval officer, where you will join the best warfighters in the world, preserve the peace, respond in crisis, and win decisively in war. To the family and friends joining us, I applaud you for the great work you did preparing these impressive young leaders prior to their arrival here. Your love, support, and encouragement have produced the remarkable individuals seated here. It's enabled them to make sound choices, and we are grateful to these graduates for their choice to serve. They could not have gotten to this point without careful guidance and support of family and friends. On behalf of the Navy and a grateful nation, Please accept my most sincere thank you. To the graduates here today, I am proud of each and every one of you. You all had many other options of volunteering to serve your country, yet you chose this path. I thank you for your patriotism and your willingness to serve. I assure you that a life of service holds many rewards and will bring you great fulfillment. You have completed rigorous military, academic, and physical training. You overcame obstacles. Nothing was handed to you except opportunity. The opportunity to make something more of yourself, to learn, to grow, and to lead. You seized that opportunity, and today you reap its rewards. I congratulate you for this significant and memorable achievement. It's now time to embrace a new opportunity to lead what is truly the Navy's most precious resource, enlisted sailors in the fleet. In the years ahead, your knowledge and leadership skills will be tested often. You will be standing watch and working alongside fellow officers and sailors around the world, around the clock. Know that you are doing significant and meaningful work for our country. The mission of the Navy is of tremendous importance to our nation and the world. America is counting on you to deter aggression, defend our national security interests, and preserve our way of life. Work hard, learn the warfare and professional skills of your designator, strive to be the best and give your best effort. Nothing else will suffice. The nation and the Navy expect the best from you, the highest standards of personal and professional conduct, excellence in leadership, and a strict adherence to the Navy's core values, honor, courage, and commitment. I applaud your accomplishments and perseverance you are about to embark on a great adventure, one in which I hope you find professional success and
personal fulfillment. It will be unlike any job you have ever had, and regardless of how long you serve our nation, it will most assuredly be a time in your life which you will look back with much pride and satisfaction. Congratulations to each and every one of you. I wish you fair winds and following seas. It's now my privilege this morning to introduce you to our guest of honor, Rear Admiral Stuart Satterway, Commander, My Navy Career Center. Admiral Satterway is a native of Sterling, Virginia. He's a graduate of Georgia Tech, the Naval Postgraduate School, the Naval War College, and the Joint Corps Joint Staff College. He commissioned through Reserve Officer Training and was designated a Surface Warfare Officer. At sea, he served aboard the replenishment boiler USS Milwaukee, guided missile frigate USS Robert T. Bradley, and on the nuclear-powered aircraft carrier USS George Washington. Ashore, he served at Navy Recruiting District, Michigan. He worked for the Chief of Naval Personnel, where he served as Deputy Total Force Assessments Branch. In 2006, he deployed to the Office of National Reconciliation in Iraq, where he served as Operations Officer developing a disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration strategy for the government of Iraq as an individual offensive. He's worked multiple different manpower and resourcing jobs on the OPMAS staff, as well as the Director of Total Force Management Division and Naval Education and Training Command. In October 2015, he assumed command of Western Sector Commander and soon became the commander of U.S. Military Entrance Processing Command. Post command, he served in multiple jobs in the OPMAV N1 Office of Transformation, including Director of Transformation. Additionally, he served as a Chief of Naval Personnel, Chief of Commander's Action Group. In 2021, he became commander of My Navy Career Center. His leadership is essential to the management and execution of Navy personnel and pay services and process, and to the continued success of the world's greatest Navy. We are privileged to have him here with us today to share his thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our guest of honor today, Rear Admiral Sue Satterwhite. Let's take me out. It was off the muddy and ruddy with challenges. Maybe like trying to pass a navigation course. Or the past several months you're facing some unique challenges to finally get here. The times are really only time for military assessor training. I'm sure a lot of people told you in these weeks you get some minor stops in the Navy training. But failures and successes you have experienced here in Newport are simply stepping stones. But are truly invaluable lessons that will unfold throughout your Navy career. Officer Candidate School is one of three main ways to commission. And I would argue it may be one of the more challenging tasks as you have to learn all the information in just 13 weeks. But you were chosen for this because you brought to the task and you have risen to the occasion. You have excelled here in Newport and you are ready to be officers in the finest Navy of the world. As you move into your respective chains, leading sailors at sea, in the air, or ashore, you embody the ethos of a Navy officer. You are charged to be warfighters. The role is both a privilege and, has a, and a responsibility. Admiral Arden Burke once said, the instruments of modern warfare are not solely for waging war. Far more importantly, they are for the means for controlling peace. You are now our stewards of these tools of modern warfare in charge of making decisions that will impact lives and shape our world. There's a lot going on throughout the world today and your presence here is eminently important. I've talked about some of the call to leadership, and I would be remiss if I didn't impart some practical advice as you are all prepared to lead around the world. You've probably heard this one before, but it's a good reason. Listen to your chief. Be willing to listen and learn as they mentor and develop you. The vision officer to learn from a strong chief by their side is a dangerous combination that can make them powerful impact on any command. Remember that your chief is there to support you. And you think I'm saying this just for saying it, but I traveled with my Commander Matt Sheep, who's in our audience now, Commander Matt Sheep Wilkerson, for that very reason of putting me on that chief and continuing to do so today. The bond of mutual respect and trust the two of you build will have a positive ripple effect throughout your divisions and departments. Now, here's another piece of wisdom they may have discussed here from the OCS teamwork. Focus on working together as a team you learned here in Newport is one of the most important lessons you can take away. Being a naval officer is a team sport. Relying on the knowledge of your peers, leadership, and subordinates is crucial to success. 
and teamwork doesn't end as you progress. I'm wrapping up a week where we just had over 500, actually 600 human resources officers here in 09 in Newport. And we discussed teamwork and the family network that happens continuously with those officers. So again, even as an admiral, I continue to rely on my team every day to build a winning organization that improves life for the sailors. As you progress in your careers, continue to be a team player and consider how you can build a winning work by continuing. Lastly, we need to talk about humility. These past few months, you have, less, you have learned some of the weaknesses, come to understand your own limits, and learn how to follow. You might say OCS is a 13 week lesson in humility. Humility is a willingness to look at yourself and understand you need others to succeed. You all got to this point because you're smart, skilled, and highly competent. And even though you know a lot, you must continue to learn from those around you. The day you stop learning, it's the day you stop growing. I gave you some advice, but your best years, teachers won't necessarily come from someone like me, or Captain Alcorn, or someone that's been doing this for 20 or 30 years. But your best teachers will be those that you lead. Some of your junior sailors, as they reflect directly upon you. You undoubtedly learn some hard lessons each day, striving to be a better leader while you're here. You will look back and see all those folks who helped you. Get through your mentors, your peers, your chiefs, those junior sailors, and your care and their family. As we conclude today's ceremony, take a moment to reflect on your achievements and the path that you have embarked upon. Celebrate with your loved ones and take pride in reaching this significant milestone. You are now, you are now at a turning point, ready to embrace the challenges of leadership and service. Congratulations to each one of you, the newest officers in the United States Navy. May you lead with integrity serve with courage, and continue to uphold our values. Now, I think I heard someone talk about this class, 924, and they said, you guys have to say this, so, who ya, 924? Who ya! Graduating class from IC, the Oak Office. Would all military personnel in uniform please come to the position of attention? Class, attention! Class, raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I state your name. I state your name. Having been an appointed officer in the United States Navy. Having been appointed officer in the United States Navy. I hereby accept such appointment and do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, against all enemies, or in domestic, and I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely, that I take this obligation freely without any mental without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And I will well and faithfully. And I will well and faithfully. Discharge duties. Discharge duties. Of the office. Of the office. Of the office of the office. So help me God. So help me God. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ready? See. We will now recognize the individual awardees for, the achieve, for their achievements. Distinguished naval graduates will also be recognized and have received an overall OCS grade average to be top 10% and have created fewer than 10 demerits while undergoing training here at Officer Training Command and Board. The Commander Jack Levitt Leadership Award is presented to the ensign chosen by the class for their peers who most inspired to their class, personifies the highest standards of personal example, sound management practice, and more responsibility. This award is being presented to Ensign King Gary. Ensign King Gary has been designated as a supply officer. <laughs> the Campbell Kennedy Ensign Marine Corps Physical Fitness Award is presented to the Ensign who has achieved the highest overall grade in physical fitness, this award is being presented to Ensign Torres. 
Ensign who has achieved the highest academic average. This award is being presented to Ensign Aarons. The Lieutenant Colonel Speedy Award is presented to the Ensign who has achieved the highest overall average in academics, military training, physical fitness. This award is also being presented to Ensign Aarons. Ensign Aarons has been designated as a SEAL officer. Ensign Aarons is a distinguished naval graduate. We will now recognize the remaining graduates. Ensign Solo has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Candler has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Green has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Hartsfield has been designated as an aerospace maintenance duty officer. Ensign Helu has been designated as a service warfare officer. Ensign Petulio has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Jones N has been designated as a public affairs officer. Ensign Powalski has been designated as a aerospace maintenance duty officer. Ensign Beanie has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Anderson has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Aranki has been designated as a civil engineer corps officer. Ensign Archer has been designated as a public affairs officer. Ensign Baptiste has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Barrington has been designated as a student naval flight officer. Ensign Bates has been designated as a service warfare officer. Ensign Beerley has been designated as a student naval flight officer. Ensign Esau has been designated as an aerospace maintenance duty officer. Ensign Beverly has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Bevlaqua has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Bingham has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Bloomquist has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ensign Bull has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ensign Bornholt has been designated as a special warfare officer. Ensign Bornholt is a distinguished naval graduate. Ensign Boucher has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ensign Brewer has been designated as a service warfare officer. Ensign Brian IV has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ensign Burke has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ensign Butler has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ensign Campbell has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Cannon has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ensign Carroll has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ensign Carroll has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ensign Carruthers has been designated as a student naval flight officer. Ensign Castillo has been designated as a student naval flight officer. Ensign Cisneros has been designated as a student naval flight officer. Ensign Clark has been designated as a service warfare officer. Ensign Costello has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ensign Costello is a distinguished naval graduate. Ensign Crowden has been designated as an aerospace maintenance duty officer. Ensign Crowden is a distinguished naval graduate. Ensign Dalton has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ensign Davis has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Allen has been designated as a student naval flight officer. Ensign Denobi has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Denobi is a distinguished naval graduate. 
Ensign Doding has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ensign Dressel has been designated as a service warfare officer. Ensign Edwards has been designated as a nuclear submarine officer. Ensign Encias Diaz has been designated as a naval flight officer. Ensign Erickson has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Philkins has been designated as a student naval aviator. Warren Officer 1 Fredrickson has been designated as an air vehicle pilot. Ensign Gibson has been designated as a student naval flight officer. Ensign Garland has been designated as an aerospace maintenance duty officer. Ensign Hahn has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Hyden has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Henry has been designated as a naval flight officer. Ensign Jaslow has been designated as a nuclear submarine officer. Ensign Johnson has been designated as a civil engineer or officer. Ensign Jones P has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Kaiser has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ensign Kim has been designated as a naval flight officer. Ensign Lalena has been designated as a student naval flight officer. Ensign Larkin has been designated as a nuclear submarine officer. Ensign Loftus has been designated as an information professional officer. Ensign Mannings has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Martinez Gonzalez has been designated as a nuclear submarine officer. Ensign Medema has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Mendoza has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Million has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Molino has been designated as a civil engineer floor officer. Ensign Nunez has been designated as a civil engineer corps officer. Ensign Nunez is a distinguished naval graduate. Ensign Ochoa has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Offord has been designated as a naval flight officer. Ensign Patch has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Pizzi Mojica has been designated as a supply officer. <gasps> Ensign Bessie Lopina has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Warren Officer 1 Tasik has been designated as an air vehicle pilot. Ensign Peterbaugh has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Randall has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Reister has been designated as an intelligence officer. Ensign Reister is a distinguished naval graduate. Ensign Robinson has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Rojas Robles has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Sirios has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ensign Simmons has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Slavin has been designated as a student naval flight officer. Ensign Smith has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Soad has been designated as a naval student naval flight officer. Ensign Solar Marines has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign St. Ange has been designated as a civil engineer or officer. Ensign St. Ange is a distinguished naval graduate. Ensign Stewart A has been designated as a public affairs officer. Ensign Stewart S has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Stolman has been designated as a nuclear surface warfare officer. Ensign Stowell has been designated as an aerospace maintenance duty officer. Ensign Sutton has been designated as an intelligence officer. Ensign Savari has been designated as a student naval flight officer. Ensign Tawny has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Tawny is a distinguished naval graduate. Ensign Tierhart has been
have been designated as a nuclear surface warfare officer. Ensign Thompson has been designated as a student naval flight officer. Ensign Thrower has been designated as a naval flight officer. Ensign Tim Bang Jr. has been designated as a student naval flight officer. Ensign Torres Santiago has been designated as a nuclear submarine officer. Ensign Trom has been designated as a naval flight officer. Ensign Turi has been designated as an airspace maintenance duty officer. Ensign Van Buren has been designated as a public affairs officer. Ensign Voss has been designated as a public affairs officer. Ensign Walker has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Whittle has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Wood has been designated as a surface warfare officer. Ensign Gaines has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Yu has been designated as a supply officer. Ensign Yu has been designated as a civil engineer corps officer. Ensign Hardman has been designated as a student naval aviator. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing the United States Navy's newest officers. Please rise to the playing of the service songs and the final dismissal. Thank you for attending today's ceremony. Hot! Zero to four! 